Hey guys, it's Erin. Thought I would try something a little bit different today since I haven't made a video in a little bit. So one of the things that I particularly like to see on YouTube when I come on and spend my time is people's monthly favorite videos. Now, I actually thought to start doing this last month, but as you know, a lot of things happened and I thought, well, let's go ahead and make some, some April favorites videos, you know, a little bit of positivity, have a good time with it. And now here we are in the middle of May and I still haven't made the video. So we're still going to go ahead and do a series like that, but I'm just going to call it a few of my favorite things. I may do a theme. I may not do a theme. I may just grab random stuff. Some of it may be beauty. Some of it may not be. I will tell you this time everything is beauty and it does have a theme so <laughs> but that's not going to say that I'm going to continue to do that every time. So without any further ado let's go ahead and get into this. So the first product I want to talk about is I actually chose the lotion and there's stuff all over it. Um, I chose the lotion but there's actually a whole set of stuff. This is actually Ulta's brand of stuff and this is their Freshwater Mist. And don't mind all the pink splatter all over it. Um, this is actually the moisturizing body lotion. Um, I believe they have a body butter. I know they have a creamy um, shower gel. They have a standard shower gel. Obviously they have the lotion um, and they have a body mist. I actually have the lotion, the body mist, the standard shower gel, and the creamy shower gel. And the reason I like this so much is that it's got just a very clean scent to it. Um, there's nothing going on as far as smell that's overpowering or otherworldly. Um, it's great if you want to wear it to work. Um, I've actually been using it when I go on job interviews. Uh, I use this to shower with and I use the body mist as my perfume because it just smells like you're clean and it doesn't smell like you live in a flower shop. So I'm all about this. I've got someday I'll actually do what's in my shower and that's going to be the most horrifying video I ever put on my channel because I have a butt ton of stuff inside my shower. I've got in shower lotions. I've got a varying array of, of uh, shower gels and bar soaps and it's just ridiculous. I like to have a selection when I get into the shower and I never know what I want until I get in the shower. So, but this is in there um, and this is actually one of my favorites. I'm actually starting to use it a lot more regularly because I also have a thing for perfume and when you use like floral scented and fruit scented and stuff like that which I have a lot of in my shower it doesn't smell so good when you put your perfume on you kind of smell like a hot mess so I'm starting to use this stuff a heck of a lot more like I said this is Ulta's Ulta's brand I think you can kind of see the logo it's white um, this is their freshwater mist and I just I absolutely love it it's not overpowering just really really clean smell so I figured I'd stick with my next product. We'll go right back into some shower goodies. Where do you see this, guys? Uh, it's a Minion. I love it. And it's banana scented, which if you've seen some of my other videos, you know I like stuff that's banana scented. So guess why I bought this? <sighs> yeah, it's banana scented, but I also like the Minions. It's kind of neat because you can't see it in the video, but it's got like a, like a 3D eye. It almost kind of moves. You can kind of see it in the video. Um, so it's kind of fun for kids and it's supposed to be a body wash, shampoo, and conditioner. I use it as a body wash. I actually attempted tonight actually to use this as a shampoo. It's horrible. It's horrible as a shampoo. It is so bad. <laughs> it's, it's this watery, I don't know, it's just watery. It's so watery. And I'll be completely honest with you, I, I used it as a shampoo. Um, I, I didn't feel as though it had any conditioning effects and granted it is a it is a children's obviously it's a children's thing um, and I do have a lot of children's products um, my hair is actually baby fine so I like to use a lot of children's products on my hair because it's a little more lightweight and it doesn't have as many of the chemicals so it actually ends up being a little bit better for my hair and I was hoping I was hoping with all of my might that this was going to work out as a decent shampoo. I know it wasn't going to work out as a good conditioner. When you get the, the two-in-one, the shampoo and conditioner, they never work for me. So I wasn't expecting anything out of the conditioner, and I got what I was expecting. Absolutely nothing. But as far as it being a, um, as far as it being used as a shampoo, for my hair, my hair is not all that long. I mean, you can see where I'm at here. This is how long my hair is. I don't have a whole lot of hair. I had to use way too much of this to actually shampoo and the lather on it was terrible. When I put it in my hair, the lather was terrible. 
Now when I put it on a bath puff and I use it as a, as a body wash, the lather is perfect. The smell is good, it lathers up really nice, it works out really well as a body wash. So if you want to use this as a body wash, it is absolutely phenomenal. If you like banana scent, because it is very strongly banana scented, although it doesn't hang around. Um, I did use it as a body stu stuff today too. Um, it doesn't hang, it doesn't hang around. I can't smell banana on my skin at all anymore, so it's, it's not going to hang out. I'm kind of tying all these products in together. My next product is actually also banana scented. Um, this is, and it's also a kid's product. I forgot about that. It is a kid's product. Um, this has got purple stuff all over it, so just excuse me. We had a, I've got one of those, um, wax melt things that you plug in, and it ended up getting hit by something, and it fell, and now it's all over everything. As you can see, it's like just exploded on everything. So just pardon that, because that's on a lot of my stuff now. Um, this is actually, this is from Great Clips, which is where I get my hair cut, because I'm cheap. Um, but this is Great Clips, and it's Kids Solution. And this is actually for, it's called, it's called Crazy Curls Cream. Okay, there it comes. It's called Crazy Curls Cream, and it does smell like banana. Uh, I'm not seeing any place where it actually says that it smells like banana. It's not really jumping out that it smells like banana, but it does smell like banana. Um, it smells more like banana than the Minions uh, body wash. So, and this does linger a little bit. It's not terrible. It's not, you know, it's not overwhelming or anything, but you can kind of, a little bit, a little bit, not terrible. Um, I like this stuff because it actually does help control my hair. If I wash my hair in the morning before I go to work or something, and I need my hair to not be huge, you guys have seen my hair. It looks awful in most of my videos, and unfortunately that is just the way of curly hair. It's going to look like crap 99% of the time, um, but that actually helps to keep it on occasion, um, I'll actually get ringlet curls. Just depends on what my hair wants to do at the time, but every once in a while I'll actually have ringlet curls because of this stuff. I actually have to quit using it for a little while. I use stuff for a month and then I stop using it and then start using it and stop using it on and on. Um, just because my hair gets used to stuff, my hair's starting to get used to it. And it's my hair's still soaked right now, but it's starting to get used to it. But when my hair's not used to it, I get these perfect curls. And again, because my hair's baby fine, it's nice and lightweight, doesn't have as bad, as bad of chemicals in it as a lot of the other stuff. And I'm actually, a few years ago, I actually cut out most hairstyling products. Um, I know a lot of people, especially with curly hair, they like to use mousses and gels and stuff. I don't use any of that anymore. Um, I actually have, um, I've got a curl spray that I use now, but I was for a long time using the Aussie Spray-In, um, Spray on leave-in conditioner, that's what I'm trying to say. I actually used that to style my hair, and it would hold it, keep it from being frizzy, and it kind of protected my hair with that nice little conditioning coating, and I didn't have to worry about, you know, any further damage, because my hair's damaged enough on its own. It's dry, I've got split ends, it's frizzy, it looks like crap. It's just the way it is, so I'm trying to eliminate any more damage because I don't need any more damage. I don't color my hair anymore. I used to. Um, you can probably you can see in most of my videos I'm, I'm a little thin in the front. Um, <laughs> it's not that bad in person. Um, it looks awful on camera, but it's not this bad in person. But I used to I used to bleach my hair and color it with Manic Panic, and I'm paying the price for it now. I did that for five years, and I'm paying the price for it now. And that's also one of the reasons why my hair is baby fine. My hair used to be so thick. My hair used to be so thick that you couldn't put a brush through it. I had to actually use my hands to comb my hair. I don't have to anymore. I can put a comb right through it. No problem. It sucks getting old. Okay, so this one's a little bit more of an unusual beauty product. This is the Gold Bond, the spray-on powder. Um, I think like Shaquille O'Neal or somebody was doing the advertisements for it. This stuff is actually really really good. Um, I pretty much use it in the summertime for under the bust line and all for the bra, um, just to absorb sweat and keep from chafing and stuff. And I'll tell you what, I like this stuff because I've used, um, I think I've got like shower to shower and I've used a couple other different um, powders and they just sort of, they're on there and then as the day goes by they just kind of pile up at the bottom of your bra and they just ruin your bra. This stuff actually sticks and it'll stay on there all day. 
Um, I'll spray it on in the morning and then, you know, like right after I take a shower, I'll spray it on in the morning, go to work, do whatever I need to do during the day, come home, go to bed, get up the next morning to get ready to take my shower and it's still on. So as far as I'm concerned, this stuff is just perfect. I use just the, the regular fresh scent. Um, I don't like, I don't like scented powders or anything like that. I think they've only got two. It's like original and fresh. I don't know what the difference is. I've tried both. I don't, I can't tell the difference. Um, but I really do like this stuff. It's the, it's the Gold Bond Spray-On Powder. And in fresh scent, not bad stuff. Okay, the last product I'm going to talk about is actually a face cream. Um, normally I use Olay on my face, especially for SPF and stuff like that. And I'll do that in the morning. But occasionally I use this stuff and it's the, it's Dermatologica. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And it is their Ultra Calming facial lotion and come on no okay it's not gonna it's not gonna focus it is the ultra calming facial lotion and i love this stuff guys this is like rubbing silk on your face and you put just a little bit on your finger and a little bit goes a long way and trust me you want to make it go as long as you can because this stuff's expensive um <laughs> i'm a cheapskate so this stuff is really expensive um, but it feels like, it feels like rubbing a silk scarf on your face. It's exactly what it, what it feels like. And you probably, I don't know if you can tell with the lighting, I'm looking at my face now, I don't think you can tell, but I've got a little bit of rosacea. Um, I don't have a really bad case of rosacea, but I get red right in here and on my nose. Um, sometimes on my chin, very rarely on my forehead do I get real red. Um, and I'll put this stuff on and it actually does cut down on the redness at least for a little while um usually gets me through most of the day I can at least get through a work day um works really well you put your makeup on over it um i typically do not put my makeup on over it i have um a nivea lotion that i put my makeup on over because it's got glycerin in it and it holds the makeup onto your face a little bit better and i don't know if this has glycerin in it or not and to be completely honest with you, the writing is so small, I can't really read it. And I'm not going to sit here and read it on camera anyway. Um, but I don't typically put this on under my makeup. But I don't wear foundation every day either. Because I just, it's too hot down here. And I just don't care. If you don't like my face being red, just don't look at it. This does help, however. Um, it calms a lot of that redness down. And it's not too bad. So if you've got a mild case of rosacea, anyway, I don't know how it's going to work for more severe cases of rosacea. But if you've got a mild to moderate case of, of rosacea, you might want to give this stuff a, cr a try. Like I said, it's Dermatologica. I hope you can see that and I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. And let's try that one more time. See if it's going to focus. It's the Ultra Calming Lotion, which it's still not going to focus. Oh, there it goes. You got the Ultra Calming Lotion and very, very little bit. Like, you know how they tell you just to put like a little tiny smidge on the tip of your finger? No, seriously, put just a tiny little smidge on the tip of your finger and try to get that to go as, as far as you can. You don't need a lot. You don't want to put a lot on. Um, and it works really well. I definitely recommend. Those are my products for now. And I will probably do this again next month. I'm going to try to do something like this every month. Like I said, I'm not always going to have a theme. It's going to be random stuff. Sometimes it's going to be beauty stuff either. Um, I'm going to try to do it once a month, but I can't guarantee I'll do it. I'll do it when I do it. How's that? Um, so thanks for watching and see you next week, guys. Bye.